What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Jairus, aka 10 Bands, back with another video, man. It's been a minute since I've been out here at my old stomping grounds, man. I know y'all been asking for some tips and tricks, man. So I think today that's what we're gonna do, man. I got some tips and tricks for you beginner wide receivers. Some simple cone drills that y'all can do in your backyard. If you don't have cones, you don't even have to use cones. I was at the beach the other day and I had some sandals and I was using sandals as cones, bro. So if you got a paper towel, a towel, anything, you can set it down if you don't have cones because I know cones can be expensive. But um, yeah, so you can pretty much do this drill with anything. Even if you got a football, you can use it. So today we're gonna do some cone drills for you beginner wide receivers. So we're gonna get started with that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop some comments. Let me know some other challenges or some other uh, instructionals you wanna see. Uh, turn on post notifications so you know every time I post. And we're gonna get started with a video. Oh, don't forget, like the video. Oh, and don't forget also, this isn't the ball, but the other ball I was showing y'all, that's over there, I'll show y'all in a little bit. I'm still doing that giveaway at 10K. So when I get to 10K subs and 10K Instagram followers, Somebody's gonna win that ball with my name on And it'll be signed too. So don't forget, give me the 10,000 subscribers. What are y'all doing, man? And follow me on Instagram. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna set these cones up and we're gonna get started with this drill. This is the ball I was talking about, y'all. I know y'all remember from the previous videos. It has my name on it. It's gonna be signed. It's pretty much brand new. I still use it because it's nice. But yeah, I'm gonna give it away at 10K everything. So let me know if you want it. And we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get it to you. So this is the drill we got set up. It's the four cone drill. This is a... Uh, a good basic beginner intermediate style drill. This helps you with planting, turning your hips, and uh, change of direction uh, style drills. Because you're going to be doing a lot of change of direction with your dig routes, your out routes. Um, you could also do curls and comebacks with this drill too and hitches. So um, I'm going to show you all the first drill that we're going to do. So follow me over here this way. This first one uh, is going to be it's going to be like the I guess the square drill or whatever. So it's just going to be like a basic going around the square. So we're gonna come this way, we're starting here, we're gonna be here. And for this one actually, for this one, we're gonna be doing, working on the speed cutting drill. So it's not gonna be like, like here, here. It's gonna be more of a speed cut. Cause when you get up to high school and some of you, when you go to college, you're gonna do a lot more speed cuts. So this is gonna help you with that, with uh, lowering your hips and changing directions. So we're gonna start here. We come in here. Once we get to that cone, we're gonna plant, plant, and then drive and get four here, plant, same thing, and then plant. And it's gonna be, we're not gonna be going super fast since it's a beginner drill. We're gonna jog through and when we plant is when we're gonna explode. And then we're gonna jog through it, plant, explode, jog through, plant, explode. So it's gonna be like a more of a repetition thing. That way you get a hang of it and then we'll do both sides that where you're working on both directions. See, that's really all it is. This is like a nice little jog, and when you get to that cone, it's gonna be a violent plant stick, and you're gonna wrap around that cone. So it's, it's gonna be, it's super simple. It's not, it's not gonna get you tired or anything, but it's just getting you in the hang of making that plant super hard so it, it kinda uh, catches the DB off guard. And um, you get to change directions. So I'm gonna do it again on this side, and I'm gonna switch sides and do it on this side. Same thing for this side. Some people have a one foot that's weaker than the other, so you gotta make sure that you're working on both feet. That way they're both the same strength, and that way they work the same as far as uh, selling the rod or whatever it is. Cause I know my right foot's a little weaker than my left, so it's easier for me to go this way than it is to go this way. Cause I like running routes on the right side of the football. So I like out routes on the left side of the ball, on the right side of the ball. So I gotta work on both sides. One thing about this is you want to make sure you're dropping your hips when you plant. You want to make sure you get that that power into the ground and push off and drop hips and explode out through to the next cone. All right, man. So for this next one, this is one of my personal favorites. I didn't like it in college. But in hindsight, I was thinking about it. I was like, this really actually helped me a lot of some of my routes. 
This one is the stir drill. You see, I got uh, four cones set up. I'm starting at this first cone right here. Explode out, and when I get to that five yard, the first cone, I'm gonna stop, stutter, and explode back out, get to the next cone, stop, stutter, and then sprint through that last cone. This really helps with uh, starting and stopping, quick twitch muscles. Cause I know, you know, my favorite routes include stop and goes, like stop and go curls, stop and go fades. Anything that's stop and go related, I like because it really catches DBs off guard. And if you sell it right and you're quick enough, they'll bite on it every time. So the main thing you want to focus on with this drill is really sinking your hips, but being quick about it. That way, um, when the DBs like hesitate, you're already out and you're already gone because he's hesitating, he's taking too long. You don't want to take too long because then they're going to know and they're going to be like, okay, he's taking too long to either, he's a slow route runner or he's taking too long to do this or whatever. So you want to be real quick about it. You want to get there, ha ha ha, then go. But you want to explode out, make sure you're working on your stop and, stop and go uh, techniques. That way you're just able to change speed. Uh, at an alarming rate. Because coaches and recruiters like to see that. If, if somebody can drop their hips, get out of there, somebody can stop on a dime, get out of there, drop their hips, and, and just slide. What, what more can you ask for out of a receiver? So that's what we're gonna do. I haven't watched the film on that yet, but I could probably sink down a little bit lower and maybe explode out a little bit faster. But you really just wanna focus on being violent when you get to that cone and really selling it like you're gonna run a route. And then when you catch them off guard, you just add it there, full speed. Whew. So I'm gonna do that one more time. But yeah, man, that's another one of my favorite drills that I like doing because it really helps when you're doing one-on-ones, especially all these 1v1s. I'm doing these challenges on the destroying page and all them. A lot of my routes included stop and goes, and I won a challenge, so I'm doing something right. All right, so for this last drill, this is going to be um, kind of similar to the square drill, a little bit different. This is the W drill, kind of like the DB one, not really. Um, we're going to start at this first cone, uh, go to this next cone, and it's just like a zigzag pretty much. But we're going to be working on that single leg plan I was telling you about, that little speed cut plan I was telling you all about. It's going to help you with your change of direction, and it's just going to work on both legs. That way you're not having to go in the square for the, your entire workout if you're trying to work on some stuff. So this is something to switch it up and you can go at different paces on this one because it's more of a continuous thing rather than a drastic change in direction like the box drill. You're gonna go here, go to this cone, plant, go. Drop your hips, plant, go. Make sure you're dropping your hips, plant, go. And then for the last one, woo, and then somebody here to throw you the ball, they can throw you the ball. So, but for this one, you, may, you wanna make sure you're dropping your hips, you wanna make sure you're ripping through and exploding out to the next one. I'm gonna jog through and I'm gonna explode like I was doing the box drill. It's not gonna be a full sprint in the entire uh, drill, but it's just to make sure that you're getting that muscle memory developed for uh, these plant turns for a lot of the routes that you're gonna be running in high school and college. Nice little jog. <laughs> just like that. You just gotta make sure your plants are violent. You just gotta make sure you're sticking, you're getting that foot in the ground, so you can put as much effort into getting in the ground as you are getting out of the ground. So I'm gonna do that again, go in this direction, and I'm gonna go back the other direction. And every time I do it, since I went kinda slow in this, that first one, I'm gonna go a little bit faster, not too fast, cause it's just a muscle memory drill. But I'm gonna just try to speed it up just a little bit. See, some of the problems when you try to speed up drills like I just did, like you saw, you start overstepping, you start to get too many steps by those cones. Like on this, this uh, last one I did, there were just a few too many steps in there. I just wanted it to be a single plant step rather than a, like a choppy uh, beat the drum uh, plant. I just want to make sure I'm getting that, that one foot in the ground and then going. Uh, when you try to speed it up too fast, you start getting a little choppy and it just messes up the purpose of the drill. So I'm gonna do that one more time and then go back the other way. Now for this, it's okay if you overstep the cone, like go a little bit far past it. The cones are just a reference uh, for you to know where to plant. Because I know sometimes when you count out cones spacing, it doesn't really align with your step spacing. So if you gotta go past the cone a little bit, you can. Don't worry about actually cutting on the cone. So I'm gonna go back this direction. I'm gonna do 
do that one more time and that's gonna be a wrap. It's gonna be a nice little three easy drills you can do to make yourself a better receiver. These drills aren't too complicated. Try to make them as basic as possible that way. If you're a beginner receiver, this is your first year trying to play receiver, you can do it. So those are three basic, simple drills you could do at the beginning of your workout, however often you work out. I try to do those, or I try to do those beginning, or before every workout I did out on the field, because it's just good to get that repetition, that muscle memory, so you, when it comes to game time and practice time, it's second nature. So like I said, man, the box drill, that stutter stop drill, and this W zigzag drill, all those will help you with your out routes, your curls, your comebacks, your stop and goes, your digs, all that stuff. It'll translate, you just gotta keep doing it. You gotta make sure you're doing it right. Remember, it's all about doing it right. You don't have to do it a lot, but if you're doing it right every time you do it, it'll be good. Quality over quantity, just remember that. Don't try to tire yourself out doing these drills, man. Just make sure you're 100% doing them, because if you're tired and you're doing them, you'll start getting lazy and you won't be getting better doing it. Like I said, man, subscribe to the channel, like this video, turn on post notice so you know every time I post. Drop some comments. Let me know other drills you wanna see. Let me know how I can better you at receiver because this is all I'm doing it for. I'm doing it for y'all. I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for y'all. So just let me know what you want me to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.